much better. Hi guys. So today I'm going to do a tutorial for you on how to do a headlight restoration. I'm going to show you in this tutorial a quick way to fix your headlights utilizing sandpaper, water, polishing compound, and my buffer. You don't really have to use a buffer, but if I have one, I'm going to use it because it made it way easier. Also, once your headlights are cleared, you can finish them off by using an automotive grade clear coat to help protect them from getting oxidized again in the future. Now on this tutorial, I'm not showing that part because I didn't have any clear coat. Normally, if I was doing this on my own vehicle or a vehicle for a client or a friend, I would do an automotive clear coat on top of the restored headlight. Okay, to start off, the driver's side headlight you can see I have not done yet. It's really yellow and oxidized. The passenger side headlight, however, I have already gone over and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. Okay, starting off, I have some really rad rubber gloves here that I totally recommend unless you want this liquid plastic garbage inside your fingers. The little yellow foam block I got at O'Reilly's for around $10 and it came with Velcro backed pieces of sandpaper in 1500 grit, 1000 grit, and 2000 grit. So as you can see here, I'm starting out with 1000 grit wet sandpaper with a bucket full of water that I use to wet the sandpaper. I'm going in circular motions and you wanna go over the headlight equally. The goal is to get the entire headlight to have the same consistency of faded, I don't know, sanded or something. As you can see here, after I buff it off, the headlight is equally faded all the way across. That means you're ready to go up to the next grade of sandpaper. So you're gonna work your way from 1000 grit, then to 1500 grit and finish off with 2000 grit. Now you can see here, I'm going over the headlight with 1500 grit. It's making the headlight a little bit more clear than it was before. You're gonna wanna do this and step up afterwards to the 2000 grit. As you can see here, I'm buffing off what I just sanded with the 1500 grit and the headlight's a lot clearer than it was before. When you step up to the 2000 grit sandpaper, the headlight will be a little bit less opaque and you'll be able to see through it even more. Once you finally finish this, the headlight should be again the same consistency all the way through and then you can step up to the buffer. Now you don't have to use a buffer. I'm using one because I have one and I don't really feel like wearing my arms out to buff these headlights. So using a buffer definitely saves time. I'm using a fine cut orange pad with some polish compound that I also got from just about any auto parts store. I believe it's Turtle Wax brand. Now typically when you restore headlights, you're going to want to mask everything off with blue 3M painters tape or something equivalent. So that way you don't get sand scratches or accidentally buff some of the paint. I'm going to be going over this car later with a rotary buffer, so it didn't really matter to me about masking off the headlight. As you can see here, the headlight is finished and it's much clearer than it was before. You can finish this off with an automotive grade clear coat if you want, or I highly recommend finishing it up with some polish and UV protectant car wax. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll be sure to give you some more tutorials. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see and whatever like the most suggested comment is for a type of tutorial. I will try to do one of those next for you guys. So I will see you soon with another video. Bye. Much better. Really? Working on your car in the garage in a bikini? Are you thirsty for views?